Look at all these rats. There's so many rats. We have pups. We have absolutely everything. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? Oh! Joey Slam. What's... What's moving? What's going on? I'm the real store Oh my god! Dude, look at all these rats. There's so many rats. We have pups. We have absolutely everything. Chris, I'm with Chandler's Wildlife. Hey, your snapping turtle needs to get some more protein in its diet. Those ghost shrimp you're feeding are great, but a little frozen thaw and pinky mouse would be awesome. I already fed mine a little mouse and eat half of it. I saw that video. It was awesome. Yeah? So I'm here, excited. Take one of these home. Well, not now. I'm, okay, hold on. Put it in your pocket. All right, I'll put it right, right here. Mouse in my pocket. It's disgusting. Stewart. Oh. Why? <laughs> oh my god, there's so many rats here. And I, for the most part, we feed frozen dogs, but then again, when it comes to like baby rattlesnakes, they really only eat live hoppers, which are little small mice. Eventually, you can get them to eat frozen dog, like our basilisk, South uh, Mexican West Coast rattlesnake, and our Western or canebrake. But when they're a lot younger, you gotta feed them live, so I don't show too much of that on my channel. But you guys can see them eat frozen dog, just as cool. That'd be awesome. I know I'm some excited. of you guys are sick and you want to see them eat live, but oh uh, my god, look at this thing! Yeah, that's a big western diamondback that came from Tom Crutchfield's facility. He has a venom farm down in South Florida. He's actually donated to us. It's pretty cool, right? That's amazing, bro. It's got a big, beautiful rattle, too. And eventually, that rattle will break off. No way, it's, really? It's gonna get too big. It's made of the it's made of skin, dried skin. So basically, when a rattlesnake sheds its skin, a new bead is added to the rattle. Dude, look at that, guys. And there's nothing inside the rattle making it rattle. Like a, this little... A maraca? Like a maraca. It's actually just the beads are loose and they're hitting each other. So if you were to cut open a rattle, there's no actual beads inside it like a maraca. This is pretty wild. Hey. I know you heard me. I know you heard me. Look at that guy. He's ready to go ahead and take a bite. You hear that? That's him shaking his maracas. Oh my god. Should we cue some uh, Spanish music in the background right now? What you feeding out here, bro? Uh, I am cleaning out some water bowls for these pygmy rattlesnakes. These are old pygmies. Sure, they got nice clean water, and also I'm gonna offer them some pinky mice. Most likely not gonna hold on. This is another rattler. It's the pygmy rattlesnake. It's so cute. Which is the world's smallest species of rattlesnake. Whoa. Oh! Oh! There we go. So that's the initial bite. That's and it. on my channel, what I just finished talking about is how when a rattlesnake hunts, they inject the fangs into the body, deliver the venom, and they let the animal escape, dies off in the desert or forest or whatever environment they live, and then he follows the scent trail of the animal where it died, finds it, and swallows it up. So they just strike and let go. So when you feed them, they bite on, inject the venom, and you drop it right there, and they'll start So if it. I just bit you, you die, and then I find you later? Or something like that? I just struck you. Die already. Stop touching me. Okay. Okay, my friend, what are we feeding next? These Mexican West Coast rattlesnakes. Mexican West Coast rattlesnakes. Look at these things. They're gorgeous. They're not even things. They're beautiful animals. Where should I stand so I don't lose a leg? So stay right about over here. All right. Oh my gosh. Do your thing, bro. Drop some knowledge. So these are Mexican West Coast rattlesnakes, and this is a breeding pair. What's crazy is different areas have different colors, so. Let's say there's an area with a lot of yellow rocks and whatnot. Well, the snakes are eventually going to evolve to have yellowish skin to match that area. Or a darker area that has a lot of dark rocks and dark bushes. You're going to have a rattlesnake that's darker. So that's why we have two rattlesnakes right here. Same species, but they look very different in color. Wow. Look at that. Super quick. Unexpected, bro. Super, super quick. We're gonna offer the bigger one something to munch on. Oh, here we go. Oh my gosh. Gotta make sure he's focused on that rat and not my hand because. Here we go. It's a beautiful snake, man. Gorgeous. This is actually my, one of my favorite snakes in this room. Well, they're all my favorites in Hawaii when I say otherwise. Look at that. A little subtle Real bite. Smooth and gentle. Let's move right back inside this enclosure. Look at that. That's absolutely insane, my dude. Wow. Now his mouth is not occupied, so obviously stay away from the entrance of this cage. Now what you guys don't see is, yeah, he's actually he got the zoom in real good on this camera. He's not getting that close. Now you can get close. Look at that. Look at the rattle. 
I hear it. I'm just watching this guy munch down. This is one of the prettiest snakes I've ever seen. Prettiest Mexican West Coast rattlesnake I've ever seen. That yeah. big one right there. That's amazing, bro. That's absolutely insane, dude. Why is he rattling if he ate already? Because... He's got a mouthful of food and he can't really do anything about it. So if you're in a space, he's just like, man, I can't do anything about it. I gotta do something. So he starts making noise saying, hey, stay away from me. So that's basically it. So we want to give them their privacy, let them eat. Can I feed something? Can you feed something? Yeah. Of course. What do you want to feed? Uh, did the yellow anaconda eat yet? Uh, no, no, you can feed that one. I was actually going to plan on feeding that right now. All right, now you got to feed the gaboon viper. Wait, what? My little gaboon viper, Pinky. All right, I'll do it. Why I got to give her fresh water and I got to feed her, so I'm going to let you do that. You got me excited about feeding the uh, anaconda, so I'm excited now. Yeah. Can you pack up, man? And That's I what I like to do. Make people like animals. I love people. And I like animals. I like personal space. Get away. Okay, so. All right, bro, so it's time. Yeah, we got a nice little rat right here. Well, mm, small medium. And this is Pinky. I've had her for a while. Oh, she actually shed. You're in luck, dude. Look, she just shed her skin. Let's get that lighting better in there so you can see. Oh, wow. See that skin right in the corner? I'm going to have to pull that out, but look how beautiful she is. Look at her pinks and yellows. Look at the hourglass shapes on her spine. It's a beautiful snake. I agree. Yeah. So you guys see my big Gaboon Viper eat on my channel, and now you're going to get the opportunity to feed him as well. I'm so, excited. you see how long these tongs are? Yes. I don't know, like two feet, probably. Mm -hmm. Ah, are you? Oh. Are you? Look at this guy trying to get me. He's hungry. She's hungry. That's Big Bertha. Big Bertha. Yeah, she's hungry. Again? Yeah. Didn't she just eat on your channel? Yes. <laughs> she wants more. Oh my gosh. So these tongs are pretty long, uh -huh. and they should keep you safe okay. as long as you listen to what I say. Now, like I said before, I have no problem training you how to handle these animals and work around them. Mm -hmm. I don't do it for everybody, just because you're my buddy, okay? So I got you. Thanks, my dude. I'm going to keep you safe. Just got to listen to what I say. Uh, you're going to grab the rat right about here, the lower back. Okay. So he has the opportunity to grab that chest cavity where mm -hmm. they usually grab him. And you're going to hold the very end right over here. I'm going to basically have you come right about here. You're out of strike distance. Okay. And you're going to come in just like this from upwards and offer the rat. Okay. He's going to bang it. He's going to grab on, put the fangs inside the chest cavity, inject the venom. You're going to let go. He's going to start swallowing up that food. You ready? Yeah. I'm excited. Let's do it. All right. So here, grab this. Okay. Go to where I was just standing, exactly how I said. Right here. And I am going to unlock this enclosure. Okay. You ready? I am. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Just be nice and calm. I'm use the snake handle to open up the glass. There we go. From above, you said. Yes, so pay yeah. attention to the snake. Do not take your eyes off it. She's going to burst out, and she's going to grab that thing. Got some good lighting on her. Can I use my left hand instead? Yeah, go ahead. Whatever's comfortable for you. You want to be very comfortable. What a beautiful snake. Get a little boop. A little wiggle. Oh there we go. <laughs> There you go. Pinky is a beast when it comes to feeding. Never having a problem. That was insane, dude. How Look cool at things is that? that smack this? Yeah. <laughs> Look at that snake, guys. It's absolutely insane. Oh my gosh, bro. So, that's my first venomous feed, bro. It's pretty crazy. It's pretty freaking nuts, man. Yeah, wait till I get big crocodiles, man. Everyone thinks I'm a, like old snakes. I, I work with everything, man. Wait till I get my big croc. This Chandler's wildlife for a reason. Because your life is, uh, it's wild. So like I said, it's a good opportunity for me to check out what she's got going on in this enclosure while she's got her mouth occupied. I'm going to gently reach back here at the tongs. Look at this. Whoa. And this is a whole shed. We're going to check this out later. Let me take care of her enclosure first. I'm going to gently push her back in so she can finish that meal. And you can watch from the safety of the glass when it's all nice and closed up. Let me just pull up this water bowl. Awesome. Just lock it up. Dude, that was insane, man. Pretty that cool, was right? awesome. That was yeah. super cool, man. I'm training you, man. I don't, I don't have a problem teaching you about these animals. I, that's what I did for a living for the past seven years, <laughs> doing educational wildlife shows. I don't mind teaching a personal friend. <laughs> I'm excited, bro. I'm excited. We're about to go ahead and learn some crazy stuff here. So. Speaking of crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. Now that the cage is all closed up, we'll let her swallow that food. This is the shed. Look at that. So it's been in there for about a day or so. That's why it's starting to turn a little bit yellow. But look at that. This is a full shed of a Gaboon Viper. They wow. have the world's longest fangs, upwards of two and a half, three inches. Insane. 
Deadly, de deadly venom, cardiotoxins that attack the heart. They are no joke, but they are a beautiful snake. Obviously, they deserve a lot of respect. They're insane. Look at that, dude. So, it so cool. looks like this is the tail right here. So that's the little bit. Then you can see the pattern. Look at that. You can see the pattern of the Gaboon Viper. That, can you hold that up one more time just like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me just see if I can get this head. The head's right here. Looks like the head's a little crumbled, but look, look, look at this. Whoa. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. This is where the eyes go, right? About. Look at that eye cap. So this skin is inside out, obviously. Mm -hmm. So the inside is actually what you were seeing with the pattern and coloration. When the shed comes off, if it gets flipped out, look, that cap right there is like a goggle for a snake. It's called an eye cap. And in previous videos on my channel, I've actually had to remove these eye caps that got stuck. Because if you leave them on too long, they can temporarily blind the animal or they can blind them permanently. So you want to keep those clean and removed. But look at that. Look how cool that is. Good boon viper shed. It's got a little bit of mulch on it. You just pick off, but I'm just gonna give this to you as a gift, man. Dude, this is just... this is it's it has the world's longest fangs. It's a very dangerous snake. You know it's what? one I'll of my favorites. That. So I'm gonna let you have this full shed of skin. Thanks, man. I'm not offended if you want to throw it away because it honestly smells like he peed and pooped in the skin a little bit as he shed it off. So enjoy that. Thanks, Thanks for coming, man. It's always good having you over. Thanks.